Hey, how's it going everyone? Saints Man back again with another gun running DLC video. This will probably be a fairly short one, but I wanted to give you guys an update on some of the information that has come out over the last few days regarding the, the possible release date for the gun running DLC and then some other stuff. So hopefully if you guys are excited for the gun running DLC, you will enjoy this video. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the gun running DLC trailer. And I want to talk a little bit about when we may be seeing it because normally with the last few dlcs rockstar have actually released the trailer after the dlc has come out the dlc will come out in the morning and then a few hours later they'll release the trailer saying the dlc is out now and you can go play it i think that's kind of uh I, I don't know i think it's a decent business strategy i guess because then you get people who are or you get people who get hyped for the dlc and they don't have to wait you know normally when you get a trailer, you get hyped and then you have to wait a week or whatever, however long it may be. So sometimes, you know, you may forget about it. So this way, the way they're doing it now, where they're releasing it once the DLC is already out, I think it makes sense uh, for them to, to, I guess, reach the more casual fans. Because us people who like GTA and are hardcore, we're going to be playing the thing regardless, you know. So I think that's sort of uh, what's going to be happening. But one thing that's really interesting, and a lot of, a lot of companies, a lot of, uh, developers, whatever, do this when it comes to their trailers on YouTube, they'll upload it and then make it like either scheduled or they'll, they'll put it unlisted or something and they'll put it inside of a playlist. And what ends up happening when they do that, you know, this has actually happened, I believe with like fallout trailers, uh, call of duty trailers. If you go to like, just say Activision's, uh, YouTube channel or Bethesda's YouTube channel or rockstar in this case is YouTube channel it'll say there's one more video than there actually is. And that's because the the amount of videos that it shows is how many they have uploaded on their channel, but the amount of public videos is usually like one less. And here is the picture, and this is what I'm all leading up towards. So on Rockstar Games' YouTube channel, you can see at the bottom it says they have 225 videos uploaded, but in their public playlist, they only have 224. So it looks like there is one video that is either private or unlisted or scheduled that is not public yet. As many people are suspecting, that is the gun running DLC trailer. And the reason this is kind of interesting is because normally, at least I would think, these things wouldn't happen super far out from when the DLC was going to be released. So this might be an indication that DLC is coming this Tuesday on the 6th instead of on the 13th, because if that is the gun running trailer, then having it on their channel, you know what, three days before the, the DLC comes out, I think that makes a lot more sense than having it on their channel scheduled, you know, 10 days before, like it would be if it was on the 13th. So that's something that's pretty interesting. I mean, it doesn't really mean much, but I just, I wanted to share it with you guys because that's sort of an update on the, uh, the speculation on the, the rumored release date. The next thing, and this goes back to some of the stuff that Fun MW2 and, and Yan were talking, or at least with Yan and his whole little game that he mentioned. If you didn't watch the video, uh, I made a video yesterday. Basically, Yan talked about, or he gave information, but it was sort of in like this puzzle format. And two of the numbers he gave was the 6th and the 13th, and he said one of them is the release date. So he didn't give specifics, but he said one of them is the release date. And, uh... I don't know if this is, you know, fun trolling or whatever, but someone said, can we get the update on the 6th? I mean, I'm really tired of waiting and it would be uh, not a good idea, you know, if they announced it at E3 on the 13th and fun actually responded by saying, I would say the 13th. So I don't know. I mean, again, not saying everything fun says is, is truthful or, or, you know, serious, but that is something kind of interesting since he does seem to know stuff behind the scenes. If that is the case though, man, the 13th, that... <sighs> I don't know. We'll talk on that in a second. And then the other thing that I want to talk to you guys about. So Mac Bud here on the GTA forums, he, if you guys don't know, is, you know, usually he's in the know with some of this, this leak stuff. And he says, hint number two, eight is not the number of upgradable weapons. And that actually goes back to Yan's little game. And I'll go ahead and, and put that back on screen if you don't remember. So these are the numbers and the bottom, you have to sort of match them up. And he says eight is not the number of weapons, which we kind of already knew. I mean, I mean, at least it's just pretty obvious that eight wasn't going to be the number of new weapons. So I'm still sort of thinking that eight is the number of new missions. And then that leaves 
you know, 17, I still believe is the number of new vehicles just because vehicles make them more money and it makes more sense, especially if they are going to drip feed the vehicle. So that leaves us with the numbers six and 13. Could six be the number of new weapons that will have, or the number of weapons that will have new upgrades and then 13 be the release date? Or is it the opposite? Is six the release date with 13 being the number of weapons that will have new upgrades? The only thing regarding the 13th and E3, and this is what I want to talk about a little bit regarding that release date, the only thing I could see happening and the only thing I could see uh, Rockstar doing and the reason I could see them doing or releasing it during E3 is because Sony's press conference, I believe, is actually Monday or maybe it's Tuesday. I don't know. It's either Monday or Tuesday. And in the past, Rockstar have announced certain things with GTA at E3 during Sony's press conference, like they announced next gen and, and the first person and all that at Sony's conference. So I could see them maybe towards the end of the conference or something, throwing in the gun running trailer and saying, Hey, look, this is out now go play, you know? And while that wouldn't get as much hype as, you know, uh, these other games that are coming out like destiny Two, battlefront Two, call of duty, uh, whatever the case may be, it, it'll still get people hyped and it'll broaden, I guess, you know, the, the, the amount of people watching, because people watch this, like, a ton of people watch Sony's press conference. So maybe, maybe they, they do that to, uh, to get people who don't play GTA and don't, or maybe gave up on GTA and they see the trailer and like, holy crap, you know, that's some amazing stuff. I'm going to start playing GTA again. That's the only way I see them or the only reason I see them releasing it on the 13th. But again, assuming the numbers that Yan put are true. If it is on the 13th, 6, I don't, does that, is that kind of too low for the number of weapons that will have new upgrades? I'm not sure. But that's the updated information. Hopefully you guys find this video helpful. Anyway, that is it. Thank you all for watching. Please drop the video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.